many military men in my own immediate family, brothers, dad, grandpa. So I have a lot of respect for the military and the sacrifices that they make to protect us and the battles that they fight literally to keep us safe at night. And going into this particular story, we have to highlight the fact that the Democrats, they didn't, they didn't make provisions for those that were meant to protect them. They had their nice little photo op, but we have to get into the nitty gritty as to how they let all them soldiers sleep in a parking lot. Definitely not a good look to upset the armed forces so early in your administration. So early. You just got started. You just got started. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi. She's the one that demanded 14,000 National Guardsmen be present during Joe Biden's inauguration. The big problem is she didn't work out any of the logistics as far as where these soldiers would sleep at night. So we have to really go into the details of this story because it is a disgrace how they had these soldiers sleeping in a parking lot. The Daily Wire reports, Democrats face backlash after photos emerge of National Guardsmen in poor living conditions. And as you guys can see from the photos, just out on the grass, and this particular photo is during the daytime, but there's more photos and more details and also direct quotes from soldiers who were not authorized to speak, but they still gave their statements. So I'm gonna go ahead and Fill you guys in on, on what the soldiers have had to say as far as their perspective on what occurred. Article states Democrats have started to face backlash online after photos emerged Thursday of National Guardsmen being forced to sleep in parking garages while also having minimal access to restrooms and other essential items. So there's 14,000 National Guardsmen at that particular location. So they're providing security during Biden's inauguration and there's nothing set up for them, nothing. So this is why you have them in a parking lot, in a parking garage, which is really shameful. The article goes on to state that Speaker Pelosi personally met with the Secretary of the Army to, to demand 14,000 National Guard troops be deployed to the Capitol. A source familiar with the security discussion at the Capitol told the Daily Wire in a statement, but there was no logistical plan provided by the Speaker's office on where the service members would sleep. So they never even thought about that. Which, come on. Planning. Planning is essential. How can you not plan for something like that? Various National Guardsmen who were not authorized to speak to the media gave comments to news organizations so they spoke regardless so we're gonna get into the actual comments that these guardsmen said about what occurred so a national guardsman told politico yesterday dozens of senators and congressmen walked down our lines taking photos shaking hands and thanking us for our service within 24 hours they had no further use for us and banished us to the corner of a parking garage we feel incredibly betrayed so if this is how our, our armed forces is going to be treated within this administration, this doesn't look good. Already looking bad, Biden. Already looking bad. All of this extra security, but the logistics are off. Come on. The National Guard told Task and Propose, that's an, another publication, it's it's pissed off a lot of dudes. It's effed up because it just shows how politicians really feel about the National Guard. Another guardsman said, a National Guardsman who 
reportedly had served in Iraq and, and Afghanistan told the Washington Post, I've never felt in my entire career like I've been booted onto a, the curb and told, figure it out on your own. Damn. Which, if you look at that top image, that looks like soldiers figuring it out on, on their own. They're just they're just on they're just on the grass with some boxes, uh, you know, using using jackets as uh, as blankets and that kind of thing. Yeah, so they're they're out there sleeping like they're on some sort of battlefield, but they should have had some sort of provisions set out for them. And this is a much better image of what it actually looked like with soldiers in there. Wow. Wow. Article goes on to state, Comfortab comfortably smug, a popular conservative Twitter account wrote, Joe Biden and all Dems hate our troops. And then he posted this photo. And uh, Kaylee McKinney, um, Trump's press, former press secretary, um, stated on on Monday, a Democrat congressman said most of the National Guard likely voted for Trump and were therefore security threats. Wow. Last night, our National Guardsmen were banished to a parking garage. They are heroes and deserve better than this. I agree. That's crazy. So these are all the photos that were taken. Wow, this that's that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Nothing set up for them, nothing at all. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And if you are a former soldier, really let me know what you think about what you witnessed. I thought it was just shameful to have armed forces in a damn garage.